And here in eastern Oklahoma during the winter time, we can see several different types of precipitation. But the big question, how does that different precipitation form? First of all, let's take a look at rain. Now, most precipitation this time of year begins as snow as it falls out of the cloud. But as it falls and it moves into an area that's above freezing, that snow melts into a liquid and it falls down to the ground as rain. But what about freezing rain? Same type of thing. It starts off as snow. It falls through an above freezing layer. As it falls, it starts to melt. We see that become a liquid, but you notice as it moves close to the ground, it re-enters below freezing air, but it doesn't have time to refreeze before hitting the ground, so it falls as a liquid, but it falls on objects that are at or below freezing, so it coats those bridges and those power lines, and that's when we get an icy mess. What about sleet? Well, it starts off as snow. It melts into a liquid, but it has plenty of time to refreeze into ice, so it falls to the ground as sleet, and then snow starting off as snow, and as it falls all the way to the ground, it does not encounter above freezing temperatures, so it falls to the ground as snow.